Hi everybody and welcome to Tactical. Today's episode is going to be all about the new GPUs on the way out. We've got Pascal, we've got Polaris. I'm a little sick so bear with me. And I'm going to tell you about how it relates to people like us who look to wait and buy second hand for our technological improvements. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we'll take you over the basics of Pascal and Polaris first, because I think that's what's most important. So the reason this is particularly big, as opposed to other previous generational improvements on graphics cards, is that this is one, an architectural improvement, and two, it is a die shrink, where transistors size will literally be cut in half for the first time ever. I mean, they've never gone with that big of a die shrink. Uh, in the history of graphics processors that I can recall. So uh, what that effectively means is they can fit twice as many transistors on the same size of die, which is going to theoretically mean a doubling in performance improvement at a given die size. So GTX 970s and 980s are going to be replaced by what are rumored to be called the X70 and X80 at this point. And on the AMD side, the 390 and 390X will be replaced by the 490 and 490X. And they should perform, albeit with other mitigating factors considered, roughly twice as well as their predecessors if the die sizes are kept the same at those particular price classes. What that means for people like us is that GPUs are going to be considerably cheaper when bought secondhand. 970s, 980s, 390s, and 390Xs are going to be flooding the market. And now is the time for you to get ready and purchase one if you're looking to upgrade from last generation. So the economics of the situation uh, are a bit more complicated than people like to let on. One popular adage that you'll hear a lot is that you should always just buy for now. If you have a need that you need to fill today, don't wait for new technology because there's always something new coming around the corner. Technically that's true, but practically speaking, there is most certainly a way that you can discern from historical data when it is best to buy and when it is best not to buy. Right now, it looks as though we are six weeks away from Polaris and Pascal coming out. All of the rumors are pointing towards a June release happening sometime after Computex, which starts May 31st. If there is a time to hold back, it's now. And if there is a time to strike, it will be in June. What do you do when the hammer drops? Well, being that the 490X and the X80 are actually predicted to be even better and by a considerable margin than the 980 Ti, you can expect every graphics card from the last generation to be hitting the Kijiji and Craigslist market on volume. Now, the GTX 970 for the record is already prominently featured on Craigslist and Kijiji in most major markets in North America. It seems like people who wanted 980 Ti's had 970s in the first place. So there's already quite a few of them, but expect even more. And basically, my personal approach every time we get a new refresh on graphics cards is to, first of all, blanket message everybody. Have your wallet ready and blanket message everybody. And undercut the fuck out of their list price. Remember, list price means nothing. If you look up list prices on GTX 970s right now here in Canada, in Toronto specifically, you're going to get $320 all the way up to about $430 which is stupid because they retail for 460. Why the hell would you buy a secondhand card for, for close to retail? So of course, nobody actually expects to get that and nobody ever does, but they still sell for around 300 to 320. You can expect that to plummet when the X70 comes out and replaces it in that price class. Now there is sort of a way that you can tell where it's going to end up. If you look at cards in a similar performance class that are a bit older, like the 780, 780 Ti, you might be able to get a good rough estimate about where it will land. You can look at historical trends as well, like what happened when the 770 was replaced by the 970? What happened when the 570 was replaced by the 670? Look at major architectural improvements and die shrinks and see what the market did then. And the data is available, you just have to look for it. Um, but long story short, you're not gonna know, and neither is your seller. You might wanna think about what you would have spent on the card in the price class below it. For example, R9 280Xs right now, which I think we can all agree is like a, a solid performance class below the GTX 970 and the R9 390. And then you said to yourself, 
what are those worth today? Um, and the answer is, you know, our 9280Xs go for about 100 to 160 or 170 in some cases, depending on the brand and what people are willing to pay at a given time, the exchange rate, all sorts of factors. Um, so start there as a reference. And you know what? It never hurts to send out offers. Just put numbers in people's minds. Be polite. You get more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. Don't be an ass. Don't just send them a one word message that says 170. What you're basically looking to do is neg the shit out of the seller. I mean, I'm not a big fan of negging in the dating world. I think it's just juvenile and regressive and archaic. But in the terms of selling and buying GPUs, absolutely. Neg the shit out of that seller. Just make him feel bad for even still having it. Just be like, oh, don't you wish you would have sold it four weeks ago back when it was actually worth something? Yeah, well, you did, so maybe you could give it to me for 150 For the record, I just pulled those numbers out of my ass. I don't really know how uh, valuable they're going to be when the time comes. But my point in all of this is, is that A, now you should wait until June to see what happens. And B, don't be afraid to press. Just send out offers, send out feelers. The market will settle in within a month. By the time July rolls around, you'll have a pretty good idea of what you should be paying for that GTX 970 if that's what you decide to pursue. Just thought I'd make this quick video and we'll call it a PSA. I'll be back with a build vlog, another one that I promised from my last one. Uh, I've got an R9 270 and a Phenom 2 965 Black Edition sitting in the computer right over there. That is ready to go. Benchmarks are loading and I'm ready to just fuck fire off and see how well it performs for what little shit money I spent on it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, and check me out on Twitter. At Ofa. I'm Ofa everywhere on the internet. My Reddit handle, Twitter, Facebook, although that's private. Lord of the Rings Online, I was Ofa. Habo Hotel, I was fucking Ofa. I'm Ofa everywhere. I am Ofa. So just find me on social media and say hello. Or don't, and I'll just see you in the next video.